Elmer Hill and his El Camino. staging lanes while everybody else is enjoying all the yummy treats. About five minutes ago, four junior dragsters pulled past me in the lanes. For some reason, they get priority. I don't agree.
spun. Yeah, tire pressure's still a little hot. I think. And it's fucking tracking the oil down how many times a night? At least three. 1131. 31 or 81? No. 81. several uh, views from inside the car, looking through the windshield, and then uh, a buddy of mine, same guy that did the welding, Brandon Rockhold, I had him uh, shoot from the uh, bleachers, the grandstands. Um, anyways, I just wanted to kind of talk about the evening as a whole. It, um, all in all, I'm pleased with the performance of the car. Uh, if you guys have watched the previous videos, videos, you know we've kind of been doing a thrash on it, trying to uh, get it going and, and get it up to par from where it was when we first picked it up. But uh, all in all, uh, first time at the track, right off the trailer, uh, went at 1181. Um, the track was busy that night. There was a lot of cars there. And um, I'm not quite sure why, and not trying to be one of those whiner kind of people, but uh, the guy that was running the staging lanes, um, there were four lanes, five if you count the little mini lane that the junior dragsters come up. but all night long he kept pulling primarily from lane number four and I unfortunately chose lane number one and uh, sat there and I watched other cars going through lane uh, four two and three times before I finally got my one pass. Um, I was in the staging lanes for a little over two hours so by the time I got my pass in there was about 20 minutes left in the night and uh, there were several oil downs on the track before I got to run and uh, the car did spin a little bit out of the hole and then uh, spun just a little bit right at about the 300 foot mark. But uh, um, at the end of the night, I, I chose not to go back up to the staging lanes because I, I just figured I wouldn't get a pass since they were closing in about half an hour. And lo and behold, uh, after I got back to the pits and uh, we talked about the run a little bit, a uh, turbo Mustang and a stock brand new uh, Ford F-150 uh, still had dealer plates on it. Mustang came off the line, got under boost, and uh, pitched sideways and crossed the center line and hit the truck, granny truck. So that was it. And everybody else who was in the lanes, they obviously had to leave, turn around, and go back to their pits because they weren't running any more cars after that. But um, back to the car, it ran good. Um, considering the track was cold and, and oil down so many times, like I said, it, it did spin a little bit. Um, it did run at 1181 at uh, 117, I think it was. It had a uh, 172, 60 foot, um, which isn't spectacular, but not terrible either for spinning. So um, a couple of the call outs on the car that we noticed in the evening, the starter was hanging up a little bit. It wasn't disengaging. So I need to put a new starter on it. Um, and then the car has a 342 uh, gear in the rear end. So from the end car perspective, if you, if you listen to the car uh, going through the RPM range and shifting gears, it sounded like it was taking forever, and it felt like it was taking forever. Uh, but again, with the 342 gear, it's not going to do anything spectacular. So, probably going to look to uh, addressing that issue. Um, maybe go to 373 or a 390 at best. I know I crossed the finish line in high gear at about 4200 RPM. I'm shifting it at 6000, so um, definitely a, a lower gear would uh, benefit this car quite a bit. But uh, that was an all motor pass. Um, it is. Uh, plumbed and wired ready for nitrous. I just want to get a couple more passes under naturally aspirated and uh, get all the bugs worked out of it. Um, still got some fine tuning to do in a carburetor too. It's, it's run a little bit rich. But uh, all in all, it, it ran good. I'm pleased with it. I wished I could have got more runs in. I've got more video for you guys, but um, it is what it is. Uh, anyways, I, I want to give a special thanks again to Brandon. Uh, you saw him on the video. He kept me laughing the whole night long, talking about needing, needing some money makers when he was checking the air and the tires. He was obviously talking about knee pads. And uh, if you 
pick up in the videos towards the end, he uh, he called my fire suit, uh, my costume. So he, he definitely be good for a good laugh. My, that was my first time back to the track actually racing in probably over 10 years. So uh, just being out of the routine and, and stress trying to get the car ready and get everything set up and make sure everything was right and had all my gear and tools and everything else. I was a little frantic, so he, he kind of brought some brought some humor back to the evening. And then uh, Brandon's wife, Charette, was extremely helpful. Um, she filmed most of the time in the pits and uh, was just very helpful as well, holding the light for us while we were checking tire pressure and filling the car with fuel and getting it ready to go. So uh, thank you to both of them very much. But uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. Um, questions and comments are always welcome. Uh, I enjoy answering questions or, uh, you know, anybody that has a comment on what they'd like to see or what we can do better or worse, whichever. Um, we're always welcome those too. So anyways, uh, have a great night. Thanks again for watching the channel and supporting. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.